In a shocking or maybe not so shocking turn of events, Joe Rogan has endorsed Donald Trump for president. In his tweet about Elon Musk's recent appearance on his podcast, he said, he makes what I think is the most compelling case for Trump you'll hear. And I agree with him every step of the way. For the record, yes, that's an endorsement of Trump. Now, even though Joe Rogan is the largest podcaster on the planet, I'm skeptical about how much of an influence this would have. Given that back in 2020, while he didn't technically endorse Trump, he did say that he would rather vote for Trump than Joe Biden. And Joe Biden obviously won that election by a very sizable margin. I still think Kamala will win, but in a race like this, every vote counts. I think Kamala Harris could have pretty easily prevented Joe Rogan from endorsing Trump had she just gone on his podcast. And I don't think it would have been a super intense conversation. I mean, John Fetterman just went on and it wasn't terribly combative. Now, I don't want to overstate the importance of Joe Rogan and his endorsement. Rather, I think it represents a larger problem with Kamala Harris's campaign. It would have easily gotten more views than any other interview she did this cycle. She should have wanted to go on. There is a fundamental insecurity of this campaign and a reluctance to put out a real affirmative vision. I do not think she should have been the nominee. Now, I want her to win, and I do still think she will pull through, but it didn't have to be this risky in my opinion. 